I just uh, enrolled for uh, three four intensive, but uh, I get chance to work with two of the institutes. So one is the Indore uh, in mathematics department, and another is from Ahmedabad University in their AI ML course for some specific task. Uh, basically, uh, I am in IIT Indore. I am finding the remaining useful life of aircraft engine with a different with using different kind of deep learning technique, mixture of deep learning technique. I can surely say I had great experience from a stats professor Andrew sir. I personally met him twice. And that's why I am saying this. So hello everyone. Today we have a very amazing student, Om Kumar, with all of us. So Om, welcome here. Thank you. Could you please introduce yourself for all of us? Uh, myself, Om Kumar. I am currently doing my BS from IIT Madras in, in programming and data science. Uh, I am diploma level students. I have just completed uh, two terms of diploma from IIT. Okay, we heard uh, something very exciting that you got an internship. Can you please uh, tell about this with our students? I just uh, enrolled for uh, three four intensive, but uh, I get. Chance to work with two of the institutes. So one is the Indore in mathematics department, and another is from Ahmedabad University in their AI ML course for some specific task. But I prefer uh, IIT Indore because uh, it is exploring my talent. That's why I join. Wonderful. So right now, which is the internship that you have joined? Uh, can you please share with details with all of the students? Uh, basically, uh, I am in IIT Indore. I am finding the remaining useful life of aircraft engine with a different kind of uh, with using different kind of deep learning techniques, mixture of deep learning techniques. Basically, you can say okay. I am working on a paper under my professor Dr. Arshad Muhammad. Is basically a, a good state uh, stats professor in India, uh, and he has given me chance to work under him on this paper. Did you had this in your mind that you have to do this specific internship, or were you just uh, searching through a lot of opportunities and you stumbled upon this? No, basically, I connect with uh, one of my seniors. He told me to. And do good internship. Basically, he told me some um, groups or some pages. He, he recommend me some pages. I go through that and I found this, and I mail to professor. He give me this opportunity. So, Om, um, as a student right now, you are in diploma level. Uh, how has your journey been, like from foundation to diploma, and now getting the internship? Uh, it was quite tough for me to. Uh, get the pace in foundation uh, like I am from non uh, programming background. That's mm -hmm. why it was quite tough for me. But after that, it was smooth. Like in diploma, people say that it is tough, but for me, it was little bit easy because I got into that pace. Oh, so you are saying that if for the students who are from a known coding background, if you have a yes. solid foundation, if you make a base there, then diploma actually becomes easy for you. Diploma is actually become easy if you are keen to know something because in diploma mm, mm, there is too much to explore. Like you can explore many fields and you will get uh, find too much interest in diplomas mm -hmm. courses. Like uh, how many fields? Can you please tell a little bit more? Uh, what were the fields that uh, you explored? You found that they are there. Basically, my friends. Uh, I have some friends from. Uh, uh, Somewhere else, uh, they are in AIML uh, role. Uh, I that's why I, I was in that group. I get more excited about this field. Uh, I explore deep learning and everything in my diplomas. Uh, um, um, last uh, uh, three months ago, I explore everything. Uh, in, because in diploma in our institute, they only teach us machine learning courses and the industry is. Uh, running fast. That's why I explore deep learning things. Means I I am so much interested about AI in a specific. I'm uh, very poor in programming fields. No no no. Um, I think what you have done is really that's a really great achievement, and uh, all of the students must be you know inspiring for that. So Om, uh, what would you say while preparing? What was your favorite subject, or while you were you know, in the foundation or in the diploma? What did you feel was the most interesting subject? 
subject or most interesting you know professor you had most fun uh, with i can surely say i had a, a great experience from a stats professor uh-huh. and do sir uh, i personally mm-hmm. met him twice and that's why i'm saying this i know him personally mm-hmm. uh, i met him uh, two three times that's why maybe he don't know me but i know him <laughs> and he was uh, the person who teach a uh, stats in quite well I means he is uh, very good in teaching stats mm-hmm. or um, so that i can say he is uh, good uh, and one of our, our mlt ts you can say like they are also good like i don't no his name or something i'm not exactly forgot but i can say that our tas are very good they are well prepared like you can say dbms uh, ta uh, pius mm-hmm. wardia yeah. is very good in teaching um, either you will get good professor means professor are good but uh, you will get good tas like you can say they they are your mentors you can connect them and they are very good in teaching i generally prefer tas so for your doubts you also attend those ta sessions yes yes uh, uh, i uh, uh, attend regularly all ta sessions so um, any other advice for the upcoming students uh, just a little bit advice uh, you have to maintain your cgpa because everyone can say like if you are good at a studies uh, i will give you chance what have you done before how can i know you or how can i judge you the basic way for judging a student is by seeing his cgpa so just maintain little bit uh, means little and uh, just maintain a good cgpa and focus on your uh, skills just explore something more mm-hmm. a little a step uh, away from your competitor mm. also what are your future plans after this degree and what are what do you plan to do in your future uh, uh, specifically i am not thinking about this too much this time mm. doing my stuff i have plan to do ms with uh, iitm and mm. after that i will see what can be okay 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 so right now you are just exploring and seeing that you know lots of uh, opportunities uh, what uh, you can do uh, right now i am just gaining Hmm. I understand. I understand. So, uh, one more thing: Are you pursuing anything except this degree? Uh, uh, yes, I am pursuing my uh, bachelor's in physics from my hometown. Uh, from my hometown, Gaya, Bihar. Bachelor's in physics. Okay, okay. All right. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So, any thanking note, or do you want to say something for the professors, for the IIT Madras, for the BS degree people who are doing this? Uh-huh. Means, so what can I say about IIT? And they have given us this wonderful opportunity. There is uh, no thanking uh, to them. Uh, means every thanking is less for them. Like they have given us opportunity to represent themselves and um, represent us via this degree. Means we are a uh, lot thankful. And professors are quite well. Everyone is quite well. I have no complaints about it. Anyone. Mm, wonderful, wonderful. And I'm always thanking for uh, for IIT to launch this program. Indeed, indeed, it's a very great uh, initiative taken by them yes. to reach yes. to so many yes. students all all over the India. Yes. Anything yes. else you want to add? No, no. I just want to add thank you, thank you to Andrew for if he will get it. Okay. 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 So we yeah. are at the end of the podcast. It was really lovely talking to you, and I hope this helps a lot of students out there. Uh, I can surely say my English is not good. That's why I can't elaborate my things properly. But uh, I will improve this. No, no, no. You, uh, you had a lovely conversation. You described very well each and everything. Whatever you said. So yeah, really, okay. thank you so much, and I very, very, all the very best for your future. I'll see you soon. Thank you a lot. Okay, thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you.